We intend to hold Miss Keating accountable for her violent, senseless actions. She took the life of this bright young man. Hey. One of her own law students from Middleton University. He was someone who trusted her, who worked for her, and ultimately was murdered by her. The current charges against Miss Keating are arson and first degree murder. But we have just scratched the surface of the evidence we plan to present. In the past, Miss Keating has been questioned for crimes close to her that have gone unsolved. Most notably, the murder of her husband, Sam Keating. This trial will yield new information about that murder. We're also here today to announce that we've received the official autopsy report for Mr. Giddens. Dr. Bradfield of the Philadelphia Medical Examiner's Office has confirmed our initial suspicions that Mr. Gibbons' cause of death is asphyxiation due to smoke inhalation. This reaffirms our belief that Ms. Keating planned and executed the fire in order to kill Mr. Gibbons. Mm. They're like fresh fish. I saw someone there in the basement. They ran out of the storm door. Was it you? No. It should have been you. He'd still be alive if he would have just stayed away. But he's dead. I don't blame Annalise for that. I blame you, because it's always you. I loved him so much more than I have ever loved you. It should have been you. Look who's back. You're not permitted to be here. He said he died before the fire. Before I did the official autopsy. Our initial theories change all the time. It's Frank. Leave a message. They're saying Wes died in the fire, and it's not true. So, I just, I need you. Rachel, do you want to make a statement? About the murder of Wes Gibbons. What about it? I did it. Come on. It's time we talk.